Digital history means lots of different things. I mean, one of the things that it means is just taking historical records and digitizing them, scanning them, uh, transcribing them, putting them into archives where students and, and researchers can, can get to them more easily. Um, and the other thing that it can mean is various kinds of analysis of those materials. So people who do digital mapping of those materials to look for geographic patterns uh, people who do text mining, looking for patterns in the way that language gets used or uh, the way that it changes over time. Um, and people who try and suss out networks, so what this data can tell us about the connections between people or groups or organizations. Um, so there's a lot of approaches that can fall into digital history, but the, the common thing tying them together is that everyone is, is sort of working with the aid of a computer with programs in order to do the work that they they want to do. So what I what I really like about digital history is that it allows me to approach a problem from many different angles. So when we're looking at reprinting in the viral text project, if I want to do some of that sort of close archival research, then I pick one of the texts that went really viral and I look at the reprints. I go back and I look at the newspapers and I try and think what is it about this text that resonated with readers and I can do that kind of close historical work, but we can also take what we know about millions of reprints and we can try and construct the networks of influence during the period. So which were the newspapers that reprinted, that printed the materials that all the other newspapers wanted to reprint? And you can make network graphs that try and get at those big dynamics, uh, or you can map the spread of text. And so what I like about it is that it allows me to think about one problem in a lot of different ways and to, to get at it from both the sort of big data perspective and also from the, the closer archival perspective.